people of the internet, my name is Johnny and welcome to a FNAF fan game called After Effect. This was made for the Fredits Game Jam and I thought that we needed to check it out because I heard a lot of good stuff about it. I've seen a little bit of playthrough of it, not too much though. From my understanding, it's kind of like a, uh, a visual novel where it follows Fanny and her quest to fulfill Glitch Trap's needs. I might be a little bit wrong on that because again, I haven't seen much, but I have seen just a little bit, but it shouldn't ruin my experience. So let's hit new game. Okay, so there's a lore disclaimer right here saying that it has its own storyline. So that should be good. Okay, all character development story and lore, uh, upcoming FNAF security breach. Okay, With that said, please enjoy After Effect. Okay, so it has its own lore going on. So that's good to know. Ooh. Act 1! Yeah, so it is kind of like a DDLC. Vanessa right here. Fazbear Entertainment. I'm, by the way, I'm not gonna do a girl voice. I just, I can't do that, alright? A multimedia corporation that mainly focuses on delivering children's entertainment. This is where I go to work every day. My daily grind. It's kind of the definition of a dead-end job. This might be a little bit tricky playing this game, because the text is a little bit covered by my microphone, so if you see me peeking, it's because my mic's in the way. I'm Vanessa. I work the IT department for Fazbear Entertainment. I really don't have many friends here, I just do my own thing, kind of in my own world. I've never really excelled at anything besides basic computer knowledge. To be honest, I don't know how I even landed the job here. All I do is tell people to fix very basic computer issues, or occasionally replay some equipment. All the more experienced IT guys do the difficult stuff. I'm really not that useful to anybody. I've never been. Vanessa, you don't sound too happy about Kind of anything. I also just generally don't trust most people here, given its history. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. So it does acknowledge- Is this a- Wait, this is on CNN? Ah, uh, I love the fact that CNN covered <laughs> the- the murders, that's funny. A long time ago, there was some mysterious instance at Fazbear Entertainment. They used to specialize in these pizza restaurants with singing animatronics. But the thing is, at one point in time, there were a bunch of reports of missing children at these locations. People thought it was some kind of dangerous serial killer. Funny story! But eventually, the whole case was suddenly dropped and soon Fazbear Entertainment as a whole closed down. It's pretty um, ominous looking back, but apparently it was all some kind of hoax. Yeah. Oh. Now, some years later, a random indie developer created multiple horror games based on the hoaxes. The whole internet was going crazy over these games. They were popular enough for some wealthy entrepreneur to seize the opportunity and revive Fazbear Entertainment back from the dead. Who would let that happen? Also, I like how it's frightening Nights at Freddy's and not Five Nights at Freddy's. That's funny. They seem to be really in touch with their commu community now. They're not only making a delivery service for personal animatronic usage, but they're actually developing a VR game based on the hoaxes, almost uh, if they're embracing them. So is this talking about AR then? The delivery service? Okay. I don't think it's that genuine. If you even try to talk about the supposed missing children uh, instant in a way that doesn't relate to those silly indie games, they'll shut you up or straight up fire you. Sounds like they don't want something getting out to the uh, public. Uh, but due to our NDA, we can't really discuss all this publicly. It's honestly kind of scary who you th when you think about it. So, while I don't mind the job, I can't help but feel this sense of unease. Something just doesn't feel right. But I'm on my way to work anyways. Pulling over it doesn't change the fact that I need to make a living. Well, let's see if there's anything going on today. Okay, we're going inside the building. Oh, it's like a little RPG type thing! That's cool! I need to go to my desk down the hall, okay? What's this? Fazbear Entertainment. This is where I walk. This logo here is so extra. They plastered these things all over the place. Okay, um, so there's nothing out that way. I can run! I gotta get to my desk! Oh, is this a trash bin? A trash can. It's a trash can. <laughs> walk is so boring. I'm focusing on a trash can. God, I love this- I love these parts about RPGs. Just the tiny details that don't fully mean anything, but are there. Oh, hello! Who are you? Vanessa! You're the new IT girl, right? As me. Yes. I didn't expect you to ever talk to anyone. Well, that's a bit mean. Isn't that right, male? Man, isn't it funny that they just, uh, that they let someone with almost no job experience in this place? I mean, what do you do? Sit around? Maybe turn a computer on or off? Excuse me, sir. Yeah, being a bit of a jerk right now. They didn't even have a desk ready for you. So they, uh, they just put a random desk in the hallway and told you it was your workspace. What a joke. They've gotten real desperate trying to find employees, I'll tell ya. Meanwhile, I bust my butt 
on a daily basis and we get the same pay. Vanessa, be real with me here. Can't you see why I might be a little upset that you're talking to me now? Sir, I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry about what? Don't talk to me again. And if you report this to management, I'll be sure to have you fired in seconds for uh, barely getting any work done. Dot dot dot. I hate this guy. I hate this guy so much. I'm trying my best here. Yeah. He's a, he's a real jerk, you know that? I'm just trying to get to my desk. Bathrooms? Men's bathroom. I don't think I'm allowed inside. Well, I'll tell you right now. I don't think I'm allowed inside the ghost bathroom. The women's bathroom. I don't need to use it right now. Okay. Posters? Poster with Toy Chica on it. I don't see how this thing here motivates me in any capacity. Okay. Poster with the company mascot. Helpy on it. So Helpy's the mascot and not Freddy? <laughs> Interesting. It kind of looks like he's looking down upon me. Like he thinks he's above me. Not very helpful. Rules? Some company policies. Apparently, they're not responsible for any dan for danger or dismemberment. Hmm, I wonder where I've heard that before. Even to their own employees. Is that legal? Uh, probably not. This is the door to the Freddy Division. In Fazbear Entertainment, some divisions are sometimes named after popular characters. The people in Freddy Division mostly are the higher-ups. Managers making important decisions. Big wigs. That's why it's named after the head, uh, honcho of Freddy Fazbear. The Barney Division is on the base level. They are handling the, the new mail complex uh, we are developing. Not much is known about it at this stage, but I've seen the building in construction. The Foxy Division, on the floor below us, is mainly just focusing on delivering more Freddy Fazbear's pizza locations. You know, uh, franchising and all that. Not much progress has been made since many are apprehensive to start a franchising deal. The Chica Division, on the floor above us, are kind of like the Imagineers of Fazbear Entertainment. They're the creatives, the ones in charge of making really in innovative ideas. All of our plans have come from here. They're the ones that have made the ideas for the mall complex, the special delivery service, as well as the VR game. I wish I could have landed a position there. I probably would have uh, cared about my job. Jeez. Okay, so there was one over here that I didn't check out. Game publishing. This is the door to the game publishing division, which is currently handling the, uh, publish the publishing of our VR title. By the way, if you guys don't know, I suck at reading. I, I freaking suck at reading, so bear with me. I heard we are uh, assisting in development somewhat, but most of the heavy uh, load is done by Silver Parasol Games. Seems like it'll be an interesting game. Either way, I'm not allowed inside. Okay, so I don't know if it's worth checking out every single thing, but I definitely want to talk to all the people. Oh, Vanessa, I've been meaning to talk to you. Is anything? Is there anything you need? All right, so this is just female, that's great. Nothing, thanks. Well, there was something I actually need of you. Me? I need you to be the best worker you can be. I'm trying, I was about to say I'm trying to. Not enough. I get many reports from fellow co-workers that say you don't do enough. Every feedback form has said you've been slacking on the job. So in order to be the best employee you can be, please try and complete your duties. Listen, I, I complete my daily tasks. The IT department doesn't give me enough to do. Well, find stuff to do. Clean the offices, clean the floors, clean the trash cans. Look around, see if people need help with computers, just do something. But aren't my daily tasks all I need to do? I can't just find random work to do, I'll go and sit. If you have time to lean, you have time to come clean. Ah, <sighs> oh, God, I hate that. And admit you've, and admit you've been slacking. I'll try harder, I'm sorry. Very good, I'm looking forward to seeing your progress. I wouldn't want to have to fire someone because they were being an irresponsible and lazy employee, right? Right. So get on it, shoot. So can I like go to this trash can and... No, I thought I might be able to clean it. Oh, we are entering where some of the Fazbear Funtime Service people were. They're rebuilding some old animatronics in here, as well as recreating a fictional one from one of those indie games. Better move out of here fast. People don't like me here. My desk is down the hall. Maybe it might be good to get a drink first. Uh, you can interact with the water coolers to save your game. Okay. Ooh. Dude, Baby Springtrap and Chica are right there. Okay, well, here's a water cooler. Let's go to it. Do you wish to save it? Yes. Save the game. Nice. I didn't know that this was like an RPG. Okay. So, do I talk to this person or not? They don't like me, apparently. John! What's up, man? Same name! Represent! Some fans sent us a vintage Barney model with a horrible stench. Yeah, we thought that was plus trap, but apparently it was spring trap. So we renovated it and turned it into spring trap from one of the games. Fans can deliver it to scare a friend, but it's never gonna actually do real damage. Sure, sure, John. It's more like a fun attraction, if anything. Thank Decogon Industries for supplying us with the circuit boards needed for it, though they're lifesavers. Decogon is an actual, like, I'm pretty sure they're actually in the FNAF lore. I think they helped with, uh, Help Wanted. 
Okay, so is this my desk? I sat down at my office chair, like normal. If I'm not doing IT work, I usually just sit down and waste time browsing social media. Relatable, Vanessa. Today was one of those days. It was one of those slow days where not many people needed help. Suddenly, someone familiar showed up. Who? This is Louise. Hey, Ness, what's up? Oh, this is just like the AR emails. Yeah? Oh, um, well, something happened. Really? Uh, what the thing? Well, yeah, something happened today, and I've come here to, uh, tell you about it. You know, what forgot all that. Lewis is one of my managers here at Fazbear Entertainment. He is extruding and more awkward energy than usual. Dot dot dot. So, there's this company that's been helping us with rebuilding the animatronics for the delivery service. They've been selling us all the parts and little things here and there. Surely you've heard of them. I'm sorry, I haven't heard of anything like that. Well, they're important. But yeah, yeah, very important. Their help has been really vital to the revival of Fazbear Entertainment. Uh, at least I think. That's just what upper management told me. Just passing it on. Recently, they stopped sending us stuff. Any robotic parts, any circuit boards, they haven't shipped anything. Literally nothing has come at all. We haven't gotten anything in at least the last two weeks. Two weeks you got nothing? Huh. And even worse is that they've seemed to have completely vanished. We can't get in contact with them through email or anything. Gone without a trace. Scary, huh? Yeah, maybe they got killed by some creepy animatronics. So, what does this have to do with me? I didn't think someone like me would be sent on a boring errand. The higher-ups have decided that they're going to give this company a personal visit. Uh-oh. They've tracked your physical location, and the plan was that the senior management and I were going to go and drive there to see what's up. It's really not far, and the trip's planned for tomorrow. These are desperate times, you know. So, you're excited that you get to have a personal trip with the uh, senior manager? Is that why you're telling me? Sorry, but I just failed to see how this relates to me. No, no, I didn't finish. Sorry. I know, right? Vanessa, please don't interrupt. The problem is, I already planned a flight for tomorrow and I can't really go. They were just gonna pick one other upper management, uh, tightwad to go. But after some convincing, which wasn't easy by the way, I managed to let them make me choose the candidate. Oh my gosh, are you saying that candidate is me? Bingo! Got him! I'm- I'm sorry, you should pick someone else. I'm not really fit for this kind of thing. It, I'm just an IT worker. You were in IT? Huh? Never mind. You are just so close to the special delivery section that I thought you were part of the division. My mistake. But the reason I chose you is because I thought you'd need something to freshen yourself up a bit. You know, because you're so boring and <laughs> uneventful. I see you at your office and you're always- and you always look mis miserable. I figured a fun trip might cheer you up. Despite his best intentions, this is exactly the opposite of what I needed. But me? With a senior manager? That's scary. Don't be worried, Mary Yell is a great person. And she's really friendly. A bit difficult sometimes, but friendly. That doesn't help. I yeah, know that doesn't sound like it helps. It'll be fine. I've already let upper management know the situation, so just have some fun and relax. So he already basically sent me on this trip without me even knowing? <laughs> great, I'm, I'm glad. You're getting what's... Uh, essentially a one-day paid week uh, vacation. Plus, if the trip goes awfully wrong, I can at least pay you back somehow. What about, like, a cup of coffee? We can talk about how bad the trip went. Sounds fun, right? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Vanessa is not having it, dude. Never mind. I'll be going now. See you later, Ness. Bye. And just like that, I've been swept into some weird odd job. The senior management. N needless to say, I wasn't looking forward to it. Still, I can't imagine how I'd be with the senior management. Why me? Why me indeed? And with that came the next passing day. I had to go meet with the senior manager at the lobby. Okay. I've heard of her I've heard of her before. Her name is Marielle Wadenab. What is with these names, dude? I suck at reading and these names don't help. I've heard she's incredibly strict. Oh, that's doesn't sound like a good sign, and somewhat hard to work with, but that gets the job done, right? She seems like the type of person I wouldn't get along with. Upper management here tends to be all a little uptight, and I'm not too shocked about what I've heard about Marielle. Uh-oh. What's she like? I waited even more. Is she late? But then she appeared. Hello, Marielle. What's poppin'? Hey, so you're Miss Crow? Vanessa Crow? Is that, is that my last name? Oh, hello, Miss... Uh, please, just... Just Marielle is fine. Please and thank you. You can call me Mary. Oh, thank God. I don't like to uh, keep it formal. That aside, I've heard a lot about ya from Louis. How's your day been? Life in the IT department treating you nicely? Well, 
The IT department, not the worst thing. The people in the IT department, the worst thing. Louise mentioned me? Yeah, um, I'm okay. I heard IT has been having a tough time ever since the Fazbear Funtime service started. We've been getting a lot of complaints about the technical difficulties there. Uh, I don't know. Is this really awkward? Small talk isn't my forte. Hey, live it up a bit. You look kinda, well, never mind. Just maybe put on a smile or something. You never fully clothed without one. I think I'd suit you up. I think it'll suit you up. She's not gonna suit me up. Don't get, don't, do not get close to me, Mary, alright? Back up. Six feet. So, sorry, I'll be better. No need to apologize. She doesn't seem like she's that strict. She seems pretty friendly. Right? So, you know, what are you doing, right? The plan? Louise must have told you, right? Kind of. He was really, uh, vague about the details. We're going to some factory place, right? I sort of get it. Ah, oh, damn it, Louise. Whatever. Here's a bit of more detailed explanation. We've been getting supplies from a factory, and they've been beneficial towards the revival of Fazbear Entertainment. I don't know, it seems like Louise did a pretty good job at explaining things. Like, this isn't new information? The company is called Decagon Industries. They've mostly been sending us circuit boards to scan, but they also helped us develop the framework for our VR engine. However, lately, they've been completely ghosting us. Nobody knows why, and it's driving upper management insane. If this keeps going on, you, we might have to start cutting the budget. So our only option is to give Decagon a personal visit. I'll handle all the business stuff, and you can just come along for the joyride. Got it? Why, why do I need to go? I don't think I'll be that useful. Exactly, Vanny, for once in your life, you are acknowledging your uselessness. I think you should get someone more qualified. I mean, you said it yourself, I would just be a freeloader. I don't really feel comfortable with going there. Honestly, this whole trip is just a waste if I'm going on it. All I do is sit by my computer all day. I'd never be able to actually do something this big. Well, luckily, if you were listening, she said that you didn't have to do anything. You'd just be going along on the joyride. After I let myself run my mouth like that, I felt an ache in my stomach. At that moment, I thought I was done. Vanessa. How did Louise even consider you with that attitude? It's just not proper. When you do anything in life, even something as mundane as walking, you gotta treat every day like you're giving it your all, you know? What I'm saying is, it looks like you've given up before you've even started. That's not the kind of attitude I expect from an employee here. She is not mean. She is so nice. Why did you say that this woman was so strict? She's very, very kind. I think that going on this trip and giving it your all might be a good first step to self-confidence. I see the potential in you. Well, at least someone does. Yeah. That went in a completely different direction than I had ever anticipated. I let out a sigh of relief, but I almost had a panic attack for a moment there. So, let's work on it then. Even though I can tell you're not exactly a businesswoman, guess what? You're going anyway. Ha <laughs> ha, bitch! Why? Because I'm the senior management, and that's what I say. Now get in the van! You're the one Louis picked, right? I trust he has good reasons. So, like I said, just sit in the car and, uh, and chill out. Look, you're pretty much getting a free day off. Gotta enjoy it, right? That's exactly what Louis said. Right. Enjoy it. She's not gonna enjoy it. I have a feeling she's not gonna enjoy it. That's alright, you ready to go? You know what? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Yeah! Yeah! I still don't think I'd be much use, but if I- if you say so, off to it then. My car's in the parking lot, just follow me. Let's go! That's how I got roped into some weird factory visit with one of the senior managers at Fazbear Entertainment. Surprisingly enough, she seems not what I expected. She's an interesting one. She is nice. Just say she's nice. Anyways, I headed into her car. I always feel awkward sitting in other people's cars. I know, right? I feel that too. Oh, we're actually in the car. I can hear I can hear it vroom vrooming down the highway. We made some small talk about the weather and company drama before I changed the topic of conversation. Hey, uh, what does Decagon even do anyway? Well, Decagon Industries kind of has an interesting history to it. Oh, is that the Nintendo logo? <laughs> the place started as a video game manufacturer. <laughs> Decagon is just the future Nintendo. It mainly made arcade games and the walks, manufactured and designed a lot of own stuff. But the head of the company eventually wanted to branch out into making robotics. So instead of just making arcade machines, they started manufacturing all sorts of things. This is literally just like Nintendo. If you guys didn't know, before like video games and consoles, Nintendo made toys. Like wooden toys. So if they branch out again, maybe they could actually go into robotics. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Now they kind of do whatever they want over there. To be honest, I don't even know about all the things they manufacture there either. 
They mainly supplied the circuit boards we use for animatronics, you know, for the Fazbear Funtime service. She muttered something under her breath. Uh-oh. I still can't believe they actually went with that name. What? The Fazbear Funtime service? I think it's cool. It's a bad name, how so? Oh, you weren't supposed to hear that. <laughs> Those eyes tell me everything. She did not want Vanny hearing that. Uh, whatever, no harm in telling you anyway. Let's not, because you won't hear me repeat it again. I'm listening. I was originally pitching for the name to be the Fazbear- Oh, special delivery! <laughs> but they wanted to use terms uh, from those indie games. Oh, the fun times? Makes sense. Yes! Oh my god, such a location. The memories! In one of the games, there's these weird animatronics called the fun time animatronics. I thought it'd be insensitive to name the service after fun times. Why? Seems fine to me. The fun time animatronics that were recorded to exist in real life were fine. They were these short-lived animatronics made by some strange, uh, subsidiary of Fazbear Entertainment. They were kind of weird, super advanced for their time, though. You must have seen that baby animatronic in the special delivery office, right? That's one of them. But in the games, the fun times are literally designed to, like, store children in their bellies so they can brutally murder them. Something like that. Real fricked up stuff, man. Kids are gonna be scared to death to even want animatronics delivered if there's rumors about, you know, that. We still have a target demographic of children. Hey, don't say that, copper. Copper, listen, it, FNAF is for teens. It says that, 13 plus. Of course, upper management is too stuck up in their own bum bum to listen to my advice. I think most people would just like to think of the fun time thing as a reference to the game, right? That's what they told me, that I was just thinking too hard about it. Maybe they were right. I'm just not too sure. You play the games. You sure know your specifics. Well, to be honest, I don't really play games. I have a lot of trouble playing games, especially games like Frightening Nights, but I needed to do research for the job, so I did my homework. And by homework, I mean watching theories about it on YouTube. Some game theories. I would try, but horror is not my thing. Well, if any, it will be, trust me, very shortly, I'm, I'm sure it will be. Well, maybe it's time to toughen up. I'd like to see you try. I'd like you to create a YouTube channel and do a few playthroughs on FNAF. You'll get millions of views. That'd be nice. We talked a bit more about the indie games while I patiently listened. They were quite disturbing, yet intriguing. I'm at least, uh, past the time. It at least passed the time. Our car pulled up to an inconspicuous factory. It was Decagon Industries. We both went outside. It just looked like a normal, everyday factory. In fact, I'd say it looked pretty good. I imagined it looking a lot scarier and more intimidating. And more intimidating. That's behind my mic. This is it. Decagon. Looks cool, huh? I've actually been here once for a tour. Whoa, it's really cool. It's kind of... Yeah, nothing like some structurally sound architecture. Yeah, that architecture on that building, though. Damn, kind of hot. So, so, what's the plan, Marie? You and I go inside, right? While I go into the uh, negotiation, you can just sit in the lobby, maybe see if there's a vending machine around so you don't starve and wither away. You're already a bit of a zombie as is. A zombie? <laughs> Come on, that's not nice at all. People are really mean to Vanessa. Jeez, Ugh, I was trying to make a joke. You're wonderful, Vanessa. Thank you. Thanks. Now, just follow me, okay? Stand up with good posture, too. You want to look professional? I'll try. I'm no good at it, though. Dude, not with that attitude, you're not. No quitter talk. Let's get a move on. Exactly. And with that, we entered into Decagon Industries. Part of me was somewhat excited to see what awaited me inside. Some parts nervous. Act 1. Hollow Life completed. We made our way to the entrance hall. It was a very clean, pristine room. However, it was very small. <gasps> wow! From what I've seen on the internet, these industries usually have grand entrance halls. Maybe they like to keep it more low-key here. So, you see anybody? I see that blue post. I see sad from inside out. Well, it certainly isn't closed. Lights are on, the room seems insulated. You think we come at a bad time? Maybe during a company meeting? There's no way. Maybe they just haven't noticed we've arrived yet. Why, is there gonna be some big parade that's gonna come out? Would a huge corporation do something like that, though? Okay, Vanny. Don't be a, a wise... Hey, hey, hey. I want to stay monetized. A wise bum. I'm just trying my best here. I'm, I will say, I've seen that Fusion's been playing this. I wonder how he's dealing with the Swiss. <laughs> I'd be interested to know, because I haven't seen his playthrough. Oh. Hey, check that out. What's that big blue thing by the front desk? That is a human. Oh, it's a hologram. Damn! That's advanced. Hello, welcome to Decagon Industries. Is there anything I might help you with today? Is that, whoa, for real, a hologram? I didn't even know that this kind of tech existed. 
Doesn't it take like a huge uh, stage to make holograms though? That's kind of weird. Hey, what are you? I am a Dekugan Industries navigation system powered by Dekugan imagining technology. It's hard to do this robot movements while also weeding. I hope you were finding your way through the f f facility. It seems like the hologram had a bit of a stroke there. Maybe a glitch? So it's high tech replacement for a receptionist. Got it. Damn, looking at the thing eventually kind of gives me the headache. It's like my brain's working overtime just trying to comprehend it. Wait, what? Listen, I don't know. It just feels really weird and strange. I just don't know how to describe this feeling. Huh, now that you mention it, my head hurts a bit by looking at it too. Look, look around. Are there any uh, discs, like sound discs, uh, emitting a strange noise? It's kind of unusual. It feels like when my brain is trying really hard to remember something, but it can't. Maybe thinking about the logistics of this hologram doesn't help either. Now my head really hurts. Then just ignore it. We have to make business deals. Going in with a massive migraine is going to screw up the nav negotiations big time. I wasn't going to make the deals though. Well, yeah, but fine. But still, it's not good. I don't get vibes from this. I don't get good vibes from this. The vibes here are insane. They're not good. Okay. Well, I'm gonna ask if, uh, for directions anyway. Fail. I'll just do myself a favor and look in the other direction. Don't worry, I'll be, I'll pay attention. So, we're representatives of Fazbear Entertainment and, uh, uh, Marilyn whispered in my ear, You're doing great! You're doing great! We're, rep we're representatives of Phasma Entertainment, and we need to talk to the guy in to the guy in charge. Okay, a little vague, but I guess it works. Why are we doing this? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Are you okay? Man, I, I messed up. Sorry. It's okay. Blame Why is everyone apologizing? Blame the crappy technology. I noticed something in the corner of my eye. In the walls, the facility had these weird- I knew it! I didn't even notice those! <laughs> These weird contraptions, they looked like black firewalls, but they had really pronounced lights on the top right. I remember the light being red before, but now it's green since I bugged out the program. Why are these things laid out everywhere? Do they have that much of a fire problem? Well, probably not. I feel these things have some other purpose. You don't say, Vanny. I'm sorry. Man, shut the hell up. I know you're a piece of crap. You gotta need- you don't need to be so- Uh, I like- I like Mary. On edge? Well, of course! Dot dot dot. Let's just go look for someone. Fail, I'm gonna go look for people too. I'll be right back. We shouldn't split up. I looked around the facility a bit, but there was nobody around. All of the doors were locked. Damn, not a single soul. I guess it's closed. Same story here. Well, this was a waste of time. Ugh. Sorry I couldn't do more on the trip. She seems awfully more angsty than before. Did I do something wrong? It's okay, it's not really your fault, it's just the company is gonna get real pissy at me. They were banking on me remedying the situation and we came out empty handed. It's gonna look awful for me. Yeah, I'm sorry. Not your fault, if anything, it's mine. If anything, it's Dekagon! And the, uh, the dis. Didn't the company put you to the task, though? Well, it's a bit complicated. Let's not talk about it right now. Not your business, anyway. Oh, okay. Hmm. Say, on our way back, do you wanna go and stop by? Some fast food, some Mickey D's, some candies, candies, burgers, and fries. We just do anything. We need some way to pass the time and make it look like we actually did something on our company venture. Really? Let's go do some mini golf, do some bowling. Everything's closed, but hey, it's reopening back up. Yeah, I mean, it kind of sucks, but we can at least turn this crappy situation into a positive one. We can have a little bit of fun. It will be fun. It would be really. No. The lights turned off. What? What the hell? Crap! I felt a cold shiver down my spine. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of glad I didn't end, end the episode just yet. In that moment, I was too afraid to say anything. I found I was completely frozen, but still stuck in place. I heard a small whisper. It sounded close to my ear, very quiet and very soft. Shh. Act two, reality broken. Ah! Oh, the lights are back on. Must have been. Hey, the hologram's not here. Must have been a power outage. Jesus Christ! I, I freaked out. Sorry, I've always been scared of the dark. Just. Freaks me out, man. So, how are you holding up, Vanessa? I noticed something odd with the room. Something had changed. Oui? You might want to take a look at this. What? Take a look at what? Something's happened, just look. Don't scare me. Oh, freak. What's going on? She turned around and noticed the big change the room had right now. A change that only meant bad things for us. The entrance door we had entered in and the windows had completely gone missing. What stood before us was just a plain wall. 
I couldn't make sense of it. Why would the door and windows just disappear? My mind couldn't process how a door and windows could s so suddenly vanish from existence. There were no noises, so a prop wall couldn't have been placed. I didn't hear anything except a faint whisper. Are you kidding me? The windows, the door, are gone, really? Yeah. You know, Vanessa is still so very calm, like her position has not changed at all. Okay, idea. I'll check the other windows, we can just break through and leave with that. Everything's fine. Deep breaths, Marie, deep breaths. She went to check on some of the other rooms quickly and came back. Uh, there's no windows I'm getting. Crap. The other windows are all gone, damn it. <sighs> okay, okay, there's gotta be some other way to escape, right? We gotta try everything, stay calm. I got this. I think you should probably stay calm. V again, Vanny seems very calm right now. I got some ideas, help me out, Vanny. Over the next couple of hours, we try- A couple of hours? Damn, you're not gonna have any time to go get some candies, burgers, and fries. This mini golf. We tried multiple methods of escape. We tried breaking the wall, finding possible escape uh, routes, barging through locked doors, everything you could think of. Nothing worked. Uh, broken mentally, we decided to take a rest in the lobby. Uh, you gonna sleep in those clothes? So, really stuck here, aren't we? Seems like it. Damn it. Are you alright? Do I look alright to you? Do I sound alright to you? Uh, uh, the stupid crap for Brains Company has got me doing their dirty work for years. I never asked for raises, I never asked for anything, and yet, what do I get? This. I try my best, and what do I get? Rumors that I'm just someone who sucks up to their higher-ups and treats her employees like trash. And now, I'm stuck in this factory due to some stupid crap that doesn't even matter. What's the point of even trying uh, my best if the, if the, if the, I get this outcome every single time? No matter how hard I try, no matter how much effort I put in, it doesn't really matter, does it? Even if I try my hardest to change who I am and be positive, people don't really see that. Um... Now I'm just stuck here, right? Just stuck in a rut, in, in a rut, like always. I'm tired. Tired of... I'm... I'm tired of this! God damn it! God damn it all! Ah! Ah! Screw this! Ah! I'm so mad! Uh, she slammed her fist on the floor multiple times with, with... Oh my god. She is really going insane. I'm... I'm... I'm tired of this. She radiated an intense energy that frightened me to my core. She must have been dealing with some pent-up anger. I felt like I was going to have a panic attack if this if this went on any further. You're scaring me, Mary. What? You're scaring me. I'm sorry. I just needed to... Never mind. There's no excuse. I don't want you to be scared. It's unacceptable. Hmm. We sat silently together for what seemed like forever, but must have only been ten minutes or so. So, let's turn this situation into a positive one. Like I said earlier, just a different content. Context. I'll try my best to keep cool. I can't stand seeing you with such a frightened face, and I hate when I get angry. So it's so it's a positive relationship there. Yeah, I agree. We need to find an escape. Vanessa, just look around one more time. I think you're in a better state than I am to look around. Report your findings. Uh, you're a businesswoman in training, so it's probably good for you anyways. Again, Mike's in the way. Got it. Maybe looking somewhere we can find an escape. Maybe I should look down one of the hallways. Okay, now we can move. God. What an intense first episode. There were many points where I wanted to stop, but I... There's something about these visual novels that just get me so sucked in. And this, so far, has a really good story going for it. I'm really interested to see how we, how we get out of this situation, because if there were no doors and no windows, well, I don't see how we can escape. But... That is going to be it for me today. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for episode two, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.